What's up, Digidestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Rhyme Avatar, and today we are going to be talking none other than the past weekend's events. So, Eggman events definitely provided the information here. So, without further ado, let's get into the video and talk about all the good shit you're going to be wanting to expect. What's up? What's up? So, let's get into the decks themselves. There's a lot of events that went on this past weekend. There's just 17.5 7, is what we're going to call these events. There was a case nest on Monday, but we're not going to talk about Eagle Nest case tournament. We're going to talk about the major two big events and kind of just decide was it healthy format or wasn't. Well, first off, you can definitely tell the card of Magicka one was probably not the healthiest, but I digress. I basically lost deck check on that one. I would have probably made top 16 if I didn't lose deck check, but we're going to go further into this. So Carta Magica, August Niagara regionals. I definitely drove out for this one. It was a lot of fun being able to play with a lot of really good players. Um, at the end of the day, Imperial Jamon's Imperial Jamon. The, this shows the representation of nine Imperial Jamon, two Ancient Guru, two Magna X, one Dexteruga, one Yellow Vaccine, and one Omni. So taking this information into account, we have a lot to work with here. So this is probably an abnormality. Abnormality. God, why can't I ever talk? But this this could be either an abnormality or you're going to expect this to be the norm so we'll have to see i think this kind of changes up and we get a similar one to the next to france's regional where it's kind of really diverse and everything like that just because we get black blockers and a few new decks to play with coming forwards in the major regionals coming with ex7 ex7 yeah ex7 so with that information in in tow, we kind of get a good understanding and feeling here. But let's go over the first place. So, but I said, let's go over the first place, please. First place, nothing too crazy out of the ordinary here. It's just a standard stock list of Demi Vmons. We kind of see that they have the basic Wormmon package to promo V and Wormmon, and then Wormmon that can digivolve from trash into its counterpart, Stingmon. If I remember correctly, that is what we're trying to do with this card. Uh, da 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 da, level four with Insectoid. No, it can just digivolve into one of the pieces in trash, which isn't a bad idea. Being able to digivolve from trash really does help up, and you get that recyclability. Um, at the end of the day, this loop combo, these, this plus this makes it just so powerful, especially with, you know, prior generator return, return to the progenitor, just all good stuff across the board. The, the list is solid and tight. There's nothing really I would nitpick. It's just a very good list. Then we did get the none other than the Wanyamon, Bukamon shenanigans. What are you expecting from Ancient Guru? Ancient Rumon got a little bit of slap, but it definitely went back to its blue base, which was kind of expected. You know, you do have Shirabi here. You know, the Shirabi is going to help search for your pieces. And then you have this one that's going to help search your pieces. It just made the blue version more consistent with the hit that they did. And it makes a lot of sense what they did here. List, nothing's out of the ordinary here. I'm... I know why they went with blue memory because at least blue memory you can pop it and be able to digivolve up which is kind of what your goal is because most of your skills are when attacking so you get to digivolve so being having trainings isn't as optimal but when you're trying to just get your tamers i think training's a little bit better when you're just trying to do that i know it doesn't evolve correctly then we did get Ben Ben's list. I definitely, we talked a little bit. He was debating on Ragna in this deck. I told him he should just go with Dorugamon. I and I'm glad he did. It was a really good success. I love his list. He did a great job. You know, the Chikuri to slow down Death X shenanigans. 
you know, Doru, Dexteruga, all really good card choices. You have like Sharafe here. Taking a look now. Sarafa Fahman. Blah. This one just makes it so they another target to start attacking with. Especially when you can do it with the Mind Link Tamers. They come out and then you just really punish them because you can get to your ultimate on another way and just make it so that you don't need to worry about your rookies. So I love the Mega Gargomon Ace tech. It's a really powerful tech, especially just having a one of Ace. Your opponent's not ready for when that comes live. I, I love the list. It's very tight. There's nothing I would personally say change. I love Calling from Darkness. Don't get me wrong. This card is really good, especially when you just need to restand with your Darugamons. That it's perfect because they restand when something is deleted. Then we do have the good old boy Yellow Vaccine. Just, I find it very interesting they went with the Edamon tech now. So they're going with a I Build Wall, which is similar to what, they kind of made a yellow version of Black Blockers, right? Because Magna Mon X Antibody is gonna be your big boy, right? Yeah. So use Edamon to force the attack and then go into either Magna Mega Gargomon Ace or Valkyrie Mon Ace as your targets and it does what you need it to do, right? Right. So out of all the evolutions here, you can't Digivolve Rune Mode on top of your Magna Gurumon Ace. But I like where this guy's list went. Making a Force Taunt, anything that forces Taunt in this game is really good because now you're forcing your opponent to attack and you can answer response with aces. It's just what they're kind of doing for. And I love when shit falls together and it becomes useful, especially proves that this deck has a little bit more legs to stand on than we were expecting. But innovative deck design for sure. Then we do have the basic blue armors. As you know, this is how blue armors kind of just plays. They focus on getting to their evolutions. Then you use Magna X getting on top of your Magnas and then Flame Dramon to kind of just proc him with or using Blinding Rary to help proc it. It's all good. The deck is really solid and I have no objections here. Then we have the none other than Omnimon deck. This is a very interesting list a little bit because he is playing three of the secret Greymon. Do want to know if this was a personal tech choice. Usually you see four of, but it, 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 if it worked for you, it worked for you. Great. This um, deck will knocked out my friend Dwayne from Shine Greymon. If he won just by if he didn't have the ace, he won. That was really what it came down to. He just needed a negative just a little bit more and he was really solid. But all in all, just what happens, right? But then we do have the France side, which looks a lot more healthier, actually. We have three Ancient Greymons, two Seven Grey Demon Lords, two Dexteruga, two Magnamon X, two Imperial Jamon, one Fenry Luga, one Mirage, one Royal Knights, one Mastay, one Tyrant. All really diverse meta here. So are we going to say this is what we're going to see or were we going to see a domination of Imperial Jamon? The world may never know. But taking a look at the Seven Grey Demon Lords that took first, really solid list nothing out of the ordinary here that i would personally change everything looks tight i mean two emperors we know that this list is going to change up just because it's going to add the shotos in and when they add the shotos in it's going to be a death battle then we did get the purple base dexteruga this is the most common ones we expect to see I like that everybody went up to four Darugamon. I think that's the smart play. I'm going to personally go up four to four. Uh, removing Dexteruga down to two is kind of interesting tech choice, but no, I digress. There's nothing wrong with that choices. Definitely calling is the choice for this deck because when you get the body to play out and after you alliance, sometimes you can't get the extra, you know, swing in especially if you get into Dexter Rugamon and you just need to go off you just use calling right yeah then you do have blue armors again blue armors definitely taking an inspiration they're using the Jessmon GX combo which is to just proc everything again 
and it gets really scary after a little bit. The deck is quite interesting in itself. I love that they're using a taunt trident arm. They're using Laplace Demon to taunt as well because players will just build up stacks and just be ready, right? Right. What the fuck? Okay. Taking a look now, though, we're going to be looking at red base in Ancient Guru. Nothing really out of the ordinary here. They kind of just removed a couple cards and added a few things by the looks of it. They added a couple more emperors, you know, mat. This mat here is the new tech by the looks of it. One of your Digimon is the least suspend this tamer gain a memory. So I kind of see what they're trying to do is when your ancient guru goes pop, they, you're going to gain the memory back to try to proceed back to your turn. I mean, it's a solid list. Nothing wrong with it. So what do you guys think? Then we got a Takamizuchi. Takamizuchi is a very powerful deck in its own right. It does what the deck needs to do. You have Lugas, you have Ukus, you have Tyrannos. The deck is a OTK king in general. So using Takamizuchi's abilities to combo in with Fenry, Luga, and Kazumizuchi's inheritables, you can make your opponent have a bad time because you can remove most threats off the board without breaking a sweat. Then we have Mirage. Mirage still showing up is no surprise. The deck is what it is. It's, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Then you do have Royal Knights. Very interesting list. I, I played against this on Digimon the sim here um definitely using the aces is a really smart move uh galamon ace is your really good counter move, move because king drazel says your turn and that's vitally important for its digi evolution restrictions so if you blast evolve on your opponent's turn your opponent has to answer that ace and i think magnamon I mean, Gallatmon Crimson Mode Ace is just one of those powerhouse cards that has to be answered with. And I like that where it's going with this list. <sighs> Mastemon with Dominion was very interesting. I, I don't even know where to begin because I don't know shit about Mastemon. Uh, I can't tear this list apart because it looks really solid at the grand scheme of things. I... I like all the cards that are in it. I can't say anything more. This is a really solid deck. Uh, Tyrant. Tyrant's doing things is no surprise here. Like I mentioned before, Tyrant can either appear or disappear, depending on what happens in the meta. And a lot of good calls happened, and I say this is a really solid tight list. But all in all, this is the top events that we need to talk and cover about. So... Just keeping this in mind that thank you, Eggman Events, for posting these, getting the information. I know that you have direct lines now, so this makes it so much easier for you to gather the information without having to gather it. People just submit to your events. So I definitely say after running in Canada, there's a few changes. I am going to start using art sleeves from now on just so that A, people don't think I'm cheating. And B is this can always stay face up when I reorganize my deck. So I think that's the way to go. If not, if I didn't fail deck check, I would probably make top 16. I kind of upset that deck check killed my run. So, but all in all, great weekend. I had a blast. Definitely want to play more in-person events. Hopefully we get more up in the Northeast because God forbid do we not get any. So without further ado, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next one. Peace.